Bojo Satoru, can you explain to me what even are sequences and series? Ah, uh, Donald Trump. Anyone can learn sequences and series. A sequence is simply just a list of numbers that follow a rule. For example, this is a sequence where each number is one more than the last. Now, a series is literally just a sequence, but you're adding the terms together as well. So wait, the only difference a series has from a sequence is just that it's adding the numbers in the pattern? Correct. So to make our previous sequence a series, we just add them up like this. Now, sometimes we want to take the limit of a sequence to infinity. In other words, we want to see what happens if the pattern were to go on forever. There are two ways to describe what happens when a sequence goes on forever, convergence and divergence. You can think of convergence as my cursed technique lapse, blue. Basically, a sequence is considered to converge whenever it approaches some number as it goes to infinity. Just like how blue pulls objects into a singularity, this sequence right here is pulled into zero because the numbers only get smaller and smaller as they approach infinity. Now, you can think of divergence as my cursed technique lapse, red. Basically, a sequence is considered to diverge whenever it either doesn't have a limit or goes to infinity. For example, the sequence 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and on diverges because it only gets bigger and bigger forever, going to infinity. Diverging sequences are usually either repulsed into positive or negative infinity, just like Toji being blasted away when I hit him with red. So if I got this right, converging sequences are like blue, getting pulled toward a number. Diverging sequences are like red, getting pushed away to infinity. Exactly. And for series, the same logic applies. But here's the thing, Donald. You don't have to brute force the sums yourself. We have tests for that. You wouldn't count votes one by one to predict an election, right? You use polling, trends, and models to figure it out in advance. Same with infinite series. You use the right test, and boom, you already know if it converges. Now, that's interesting. Very interesting. Some would say the strongest approach. Easy there, Donald. That title's already taken.